This is Matt Crawford, and this is going to be a straightforward tutorial on how to use local. If you do any kind of WordPress development, any kind of WordPress site, you might find it advantageous to actually have your WordPress site on your local system. So what does that mean? Well, with this tool that I'm going to show you here, it's called local. Uh, it's described as the number one local WordPress development tool. And so what this enables you to do is have a version of your current WordPress site, any site on your local system, or you could create from scratch a new WordPress site uh, in order to do WordPress development just on your local system, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a moment. So let's start from the very beginning. So how do you get this thing? So I'm going to include this uh, in the video description just below this video. Uh, but the URL right here is localwp.com. So you can find this in all the usual ways if you just do a basic uh, Google search. I was able to find it in the UK just by typing literally local into Google and I found this URL here for it. So this is the page. Uh, we just need to click on download for free. So this is a completely free application and you need to fill in your details here and when you click get it now, that will download to your local system. Okay, so once you've downloaded local, you'll be able to open the application on your own computer. So mine's open here. I've got a couple of, as you can see, a couple of demo uh, WordPress sites here that I've created uh, in the past. So I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress site from scratch. So what it is, is from there, you'll be able to actually import uh, so you can export your current WordPress site that lives uh, out in the world of the internet uh, on your server on uh, with your actual hosting uh, company and you can actually export that within WordPress and then put it onto your local or you could just create a new WordPress site from scratch in the same way it'll be exactly the same way that you set up a WordPress site with themes and plugins and everything else so just for the purposes of this tutorial in an introduction to local, uh, the app that is, I'm going to show you how to actually create a new WordPress site using local right now. So, right, so here's the main area and we've got, as I said, I've got some demo ones here and all we need to do is come down to this little plus icon right in the bottom left, it says add local site. So we click, click on that one. And then we've got these two options here. So we're just going to stick with create a new site, which is ticked by default. So we click on continue at the bottom and then it's asking us for a name. So we just need to name our site. So for this, we'll just call it uh, blueprint just as a random name. So there's some advanced options here. You don't need to worry about those. Uh, this is just uh, where we can actually change the local site domain. So, uh, so once again, this will be creating essentially a little server just on your local uh, computer. So it's not going to be online. You can make it online. That's, um, that's another step uh, further down the pipeline. But for now, uh, this will just be for you to actually develop, for you to actually create your WordPress site uh, on your local uh, computer. So we're going to click continue here. And then we've got preferred and custom. We're going to stick with preferred which is going to give us PHP 8.2.23 uh, and that is the web server there and my SQL version 8.0.16. So then we click continue and then here we need to select a WordPress username and password. So as this is just going to be on your, on your local computer, you don't have to be super safe here yet. Uh, if you do, um, just a word of warning, if you do export from here and actually import into a live WordPress site. So if you create something here on local and you want to actually move it onto uh, your server, your hosting, uh, it will retain the username and password that you select here. So that's just something to remember. Uh, we're just going to go with uh, demo user. And just a very simple password here is this is just on my local. Uh, advanced options, we can actually select multi-site here if you want to do a WordPress multi-site. Probably not going to be doing that as this is just something that we're fiddling around with today on local. So once we click add site, we now get the services starting. It's installing WordPress. 
it's doing all that good stuff in the background uh, whilst I'm talking and we can see the new one is here. So that has now been created. We can see, uh, we can get sort of an overview here of the uh, what database we've got, which WordPress version. Uh, so the, the main options really, we've got open sites. We can click and actually see the site, which is just gonna be a really bog standard uh, WordPress site with nothing much going on. And this one right here, this other button that flashes up green is for actually logging into WordPress. So you'll be presented with what should be, if you're a regular WordPress user, the familiar WP admin login screen. So if I just show you the uh, open site here, that will actually open, uh, like I say, just a very, very uh, bog standard site. That is currently what we're dealing with, with just the title blueprint, as you can see here. So if I now go back to so if I actually click this button right here for WP Admin, you can see that we actually now can log in. So the details that we just gave earlier, the username and the password, we now enter here. Uh, in the ordinary, in the, in the same way that you would ordinarily log in to your WordPress. So going to go with it's demo dash user and then the password like that so you can tick to remember me though if you want to uh, and we're just going to log in and what you'll see is this is wordpress how you know it so this is a very simple wordpress we've got like the the one page the one post and the one comment and it's running the standard 2025 theme the standard WordPress theme. And this is just a very basic install of WordPress. But what you'll see here, interestingly, uh, and you know, we're in a browser right now, but we're not technically online. This is a local host, so it's just living. Uh, this is a living, breathing WordPress, as it were, just on your local system, so just on your local computer. So if I put that right here, uh, just below this video, uh, you wouldn't be able to access it. You know, this is just for me, this is just a local host. Uh, nothing is online, but what I can do here is I can add plugins in the usual way. Uh, I can create posts and pages. And what I can do as well using uh, the import export here, or if I use the plugin for uh, for import, I can actually take a full web uh, WordPress website, uh, you know, on my uh, Cloudways hosting or something like an active site, and I can actually export that from my Cloudways hosting and put it up here and actually work on it here. So. One of the reasons why you might want to actually develop locally and why a lot of people actually uh, use WordPress local is that everything is a lot quicker. So we're not working on uh, Cloudways servers or uh, SiteGround or HostGator or anything like that. We're working directly on our own computer. Everything's a lot faster. Everything's a lot more streamlined as you'll discover. So yeah, I, I like to develop um, a lot of my WordPress sites on local and then make changes often um, and do sort of more sort of complicated advanced things. And then I can actually pass them back to my server and actually uh, just essentially uh, run the changes over there like you do with a more advanced setup with sort of a JavaScript site if you're using GitHub or something. So yeah, um, just to have a little tour around, we've got the plugins here. So you see that everything's loading pretty fast. And we've got all of the plugins that we would ordinarily have just on the default uh, featured screen here. And you'll see it's uh, WordPress online installation. So you can do everything here. You know, you can create, uh, you can check out your post here. You can create a new post, like I say. You can create pages. Uh, there's comments, there's all the usual functionality. Uh, but like I say, this is a local WordPress install you can import, you can export, you can do a lot here guys. So hopefully this simple tutorial on how to actually set up local and get it working for yourself, hopefully this has been useful. <laughs>